Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Have an Ultraman G review for you today. This is the Shining Ultraman Zero uh, capsule. As you can see it is gold. That is because it is a special capsule. It was a promotional giveaway if you bought the G Riser kind of in the first release wave uh, of the G Riser for Ultraman G, which came out on I want to say like the 7th or 8th. 7th over here by it's eight, the 8th in Japan with the time difference. So the weekend of the 7th, we'll just say. So if you got uh, one of the first g risers in the kind of the first wave, this was a promotional item that was supposed to be given out. So I got this from Hobby Link Japan, when that's where I bought my g riser. So as you can see, really nice picture of Shining Ultraman Zero with his hand in the air. And if you slide that up, he is kind of forming an energy ball. As I said before, it is gold on the back to signify its specialness. Here is the pins on the bottom. Uh, that's pretty much it for this thing on its own. But I like the look of it a lot. Shining Ultraman Zero looks great. I love the gold. A lot of fun there. And the gimmick works perfectly well. So very cool. Let's go ahead. We'll bring in the Jeed Riser and then we'll get to the sounds that it makes. Alright, so I got the Jeed Riser here with the Shining Ultraman capsule. Going to go ahead and pop this in so we can hear the sounds it makes on its own. Turn the Jeed Riser on. Oops, apparently it was on and I turned it off. So there you go. So you have kind of a real loud, long song, uh, yeah, <laughs> loud, long sound is the word I'm trying to say. Uh, you have the blue LED, looks pretty good. Uh, still coming up a little purplish on camera, but it is definitely blue. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, read it one more time. And then you get a special attack. So that's it for the capsule on its own. Um, we do have two Ultraman capsules here that we can try to do a fusion with. Um, I'm going to do Belial first. And spoiler alert, he does not have a fusion with Belial. But I think that makes sense. Zero and Belial are pretty much mortal enemies. So I don't think they'd have a fusion together. But let's see what happens when we read one that's not a proper fusion. So you can see the blue and purple LEDs in there. Okay, so as you can hear and see with the lights and everything, when it's not a proper fusion, it just says the name of both, plays the sound that would normally play after their name if you scanned them singly, and then says their names again. So nothing really special. It's just kind of funny. Both of them have kind of a really long, drawn-out sound, so you kind of get two in a row. Um, but that's what happens when you scan two capsules that don't 
have any kind of special fusion together. It's kind of lackluster. It's just, you know, one and the other's individual sounds. So nothing too exciting there, but I'm going to go ahead, pop Belial out, and we will bring in Ultraman because Shining Zero does have a fusion with him. So you can tell it's going to be a fusion because it says Fusion Rise. So Ultraman G Shining Mystic. I don't know what that form is going to look like. We haven't seen anything. I don't even know if that form will show up on the show or not. But it sounds cool. I'm all for it. Let's scan it one more time. So it's a Specium Star Drive. So pretty cool. I think that's a lot of fun. I really like that fusion. I hope it uh, makes it into the show. I don't know if it will or not. But I think it's pretty neat. And I love this capsule. Um, if you weren't able to get one of these when Jeed first came out and you kind of have to track one down on the aftermarket, I think it's worth it. It really depends on what they go for. I really have no idea what these are selling for. Uh, you know, second hand here, but it's a nice looking capsule. The picture is great. I love the gold coloring, makes it feel special. Uh, you get a really nice fusion with Ultraman, and maybe there will be other fusions down the line. I don't really know yet. We'll have to wait and see what other capsules we get. So there's a lot of potential here, but if nothing else, if it does nothing more than this uh, fusion here with Ultraman, I think that's pretty cool. I really think it's worth it. I would probably say. And this is my own opinion. Again, I have no idea what they're selling for. But if you could find one for somewhere in the area of like 15 to 20 with shipping, that's including shipping, I think it's worth it. Um, it's really going to be what is it worth to you. I mean, these things are relatively small and they don't do a whole lot on their own. But it's kind of like the Qtama or something like that where on the promotional things that I missed out on for the Qtama, I ended up paying like 15 to 20 with shipping. So, you know, they are what they are. But I think it's a really cool little capsule. I love everything about it. And if you can get a hold of one, I highly recommend picking it up. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Shining Ultraman Zero promotional capsule from Ultraman Jeed. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.